Rapture. So today we are doing um, a hair tutorial and makeup tutorial from the video The Flood by Cheryl Cole. And so if you are interested in that then you can just keep watching and if you watch the end of the video I will show you guys how to do your hair in this kind of up style. This is the look that was taken from the Lean, Lean Meester, am I saying that right? The Gossip Girl video. Um, a lot of you have been asking for it so I said I would create it and she did it in this video so I just thought I put two in one and you guys can see how to do this look as well so just stick to the end of the video for that. So I really hope that you enjoy this and just keep watching. Let's get started in the look. Now I'm not going to use a primer because we're using kind of basic shades so we don't really need to. I'm going to be using this palette by um, Rimmel. It's just this three colours. Three simple colours. Um, we got nice cream, a kind of um, dusty brown, has a little bit of a shimmer to it, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, and it has kind of a golden warmth to it. Now this is kind of more matte, um, but we're ma mainly going to be using that middle one. You're going to use damp brush again, um, just my little technique for getting the best out of your eyeshadow. So just dip it in some water, I have my water here, dip it in some water, dip it on a tissue, and then just go straight into that first shade, which is a nice pale shade. So we're going to take a little bit of that. We're going to brush this just in the back of your hand just to make sure that you've got the right consistency. Might need a little bit wet. And then we're just going to put it right in here. And we're going to slowly work up. And then we're going to work across the lid. Now this isn't too noticeable, it's just very, very kind of slight and soft and we're going to blend back over again. Um, but I just want to brighten up the centre, well the, the inner part of the eye. So it kind of opens the eyes a little bit. And then I'm going to wet my brush again. And I'm going to soak this a little bit more so it's more on the wet side. So that I can turn this more into a liquid liner. So and then I'm going to pop it right along here. So if you didn't have a white pencil, you could use this. We're going to move on to the second shade. So you want to dampen your brush, tap off the excess. I'm using a flat brush the whole time just because it's a lot easier. And I'm going to be using that middle shade. So as you can see, now that it's kind of on the wet side, you can kind of see how the shimmer is coming up more. Test it on the back of your hand. Looks like that. It's like a brown, browny golden color. And we're going to pop this all over the lid. So just start in the centre and work your way out. And then you can bring it back across again. This time I'm going up, over. And you can blend it right into that creamy first colour. But just very, very gently, you don't want too much. And remember the imaginary line that we have from the outer part of the eye up to the brow. You don't want to come out too far. So just stick mostly to the lid and then we're going to take a tiny bit more and we're going to turn the brush around and slowly work upwards keeping our eyes open. And what I want to do is I want to recede my brow bone which is right here. So we're going to slightly darken that and in this, um, in this video she kind of has the colour going pretty far up and then just keeps this brow bone clear. So that's what we're going to do as well. So I'm just bringing it up, mostly up here, and then bring it back down again. Like that. Next we're going to move on to the next shade. So you want to clean off your brush, dampen it with the water again, and then take the brown. So take a little bit of this, just a very small amount. I only want a tiny bit of it, then I'm going to mix it up with that middle shade so I get kind of a blend of the two colours. Then we're going to look straight on again and you're going to place this right into the crease. Now I want to make sure that I don't put too much of this on so I'm just going to blend it away again and then keep building up to get the right shape. I just want it to be slight hint of depth in the eye. Um, but I still want to keep that mid colour as our main colour in this look. So now we're just going to take that first shade again because it's a matte colour. If you if, if this first colour wasn't a matte colour for you, try and find something that's creamy and matte. Take a little bit onto the brush and we're just going to put this underneath the brow bone. 
I'm not bringing it all the way across, I'm just doing it up here, and then I'm just going to blend it away with my finger. Now before I move on to mascara, I'm going to take my um, little angled brush and do my eyebrows, because her eyebrows are kind of um, dark in this look, as well as kind of dense. So I'm actually going to take that last colour, so we're sticking with the same palette the whole time, just to make it easy for you guys. And I'm going to take it onto that angled brush. Now this is a matte brown, so that's why you can get away with it. Um, yeah, it's definitely more on the matte side than anything else. So we are going to take this through the brows to make them a little bit more dense. Gives them a bit of shape. Even though her eyebrows are a little bit kind of more flat, whereas my eyebrows have an arch to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round them off a bit. Do the hair in a few minutes, but I'm going to move on and do the lips. Um, so I am going to take this color by Rimmel. This is number can this is candy number two. Looks like this. It's pretty identical to the one she's wearing in the video, unless she's using Mac, and then it's probably Mac's baby. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to put a little bit of this straight from the tube onto my lips. It's a glossy light pink. And I've also neutralised my um, lips with a little bit of concealer before I put this on so it's extra soft pink. Um, and you can add a little bit of lip gloss over the top but you don't have to. I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit soft and satin which this kind of um, has a soft satiny finish. Okay, so now we're just going to add a little hint of um, brandiness to the skin and do a little bit of highlighting because she doesn't have any blush on, she just has her face kind of highlighted. So I'm using the same palette again. I want to keep this look really easy um, so that people aren't going out buying really expensive things or anything or lots of different products. We're just going to stick to the same thing. So I'm going to first of all take a small brush so I can get right in there. Take that first shade, which is a nice light colour, and I'm going to brush this right underneath my eyes like this going downwards that's just going to add a little bit of highlight to the face you can work it down the nose as well a little bit maybe on the chin now we're going to take the two other shades mix them up a little bit now this is quite dark so go sparingly with it smile and get right underneath those cheeks like this. And then I'm just going to circle like this just to blend it away. And this is just going to really kind of define the face and give it a lot more shape. I'm going to bring it up here, up towards my forehead. So I'm working up the temples like this. And this is just going to see how much shorter my forehead kind of looks that way because I have quite a broad straight one. So it's just going to define the face again. And I'm also going to work it right underneath here just because I have kind of a square jaw. Now we're going to curl our eyelashes and add our mascara. I'm going to be using two types of mascara in this look. I'm going to be using Sexy Curves and Volume Flash Mascara so that I can get like a really good um, kind of fake look almost without using too many coats of anything because one adds volume while the other adds kind of length. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'm going to try and get the most of the outer part of the eye so I can curl them more and then kind of keep the other ones going so it kind of goes in a swirl motion, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now we're just going to move on to the hair. So the great thing about this hairstyle is it's kind of messy. Your hair doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be too styled. It's actually better if it's a day old, if you've been out in the wind and it's all kind of windswept. Um, if you maybe blow dry your hair upside down and don't have time to do anything else with it, this is kind of look that I do when I have no time. And I just blow dry my hair upside down and then it's kind of like pfft. And it's crazy, so this is just the easiest way to kind of tame it and um, give it some kind of style. So all you have to do is use your fingertips to be your kind of brush. You need two hair ties. Well, you can only you can use one, but I actually use two um, because my hair has short layers, so I have to use two. So just two small ones, preferably something that's similar to your hair color. So like dark for me, light if you have blonder hair. Um, but it's all about kind of keeping it kind of curly. So my hair was kind of curled yesterday, and the curl is kind of going out a little bit. And it feels like it has a lot of kind of product in it. So it's the kind of easiest way to keep your hair up um, when it's kind of not on the really, really styled side of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our fingers and we're going to grab it all the way up as high as you can. And make sure you grab all the little bits from down here. Now you can pull out 
bits from the edge. So just by the ear, you can just pull out bits here, like that, because you kind of want it to be messy. And then you can just curl them with your fingers. Make sure they're not really long bits. That one's a bit long, so it might take some shorter layers. And take your bangs down, and a little bit of hair perhaps. But keep the majority of the hair up here. Now this can give you a headache if you stay if it stays in there the whole day and you're not used to having hair up, so just be aware of that. I tend to get headaches when I have my hair up really high. Um so now we're just gonna take our first hair tie and we're gonna make sure that the bump is kind of even on both sides. You can smooth out a little bit. Grab the hair and tie it with one hair tie. So, just like you would a normal ponytail, basically. We see it's kind of messy. Then you can take your second one. You're going to pull the hair so that you have all of it through. So it's completely smooth all the way through. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the hair like this. So it's looped around once. So it's kind of, just take the edge and push it against where you tied it. Then you want to loop this hair tie over that, like that. So you just kind of have this loop right here. Then you want to mess it up a bit and start pulling out the shorter layers like that. So it's just really kind of messy. Play with it, scrunch it, move it around. Maybe back comb it if you have quite thin hair. But it's all about kind of playing around with it. So you kind of get a scrunchy look. Now if you have any problems with the longer bits coming out and you want to kind of build the hair up so it's more bulky up here, what you can do is you just push them up, take a bobby pin and just randomly pin pieces in and you get kind of a more sculptured effect and it also keeps the hair up. So I've just pinned those two in right there so it's kind of more sculptured. Just play around with it. Um, try and make sure you cover the hair ties that are in there and then you can add um, some kind of a hairband so you could add something like this which is just like little beads kind of matches my hair colour so kind of looks like a little design you can add something that's like um, completely different so like a white hair hairband like this this is just a really old Hello Kitty um, hairband that I had since I was like 10 or something so you just throw those in. Or you could try something like this, which has a nice little design in it. This is the one that I wore in the video where everybody was asking how I did my hair and it's exactly the same way as this. So that's kind of the design. It's just, um, I think this is from Penny's. And it's just a little hairband. And it just has a nice little design on it. And I'm just going to fix up my bangs a bit. A bit of height. And pull out a little bit more hair right by the ears as well. But that is the messy up style that I did. It's really, really simple and it doesn't take too long to do. And it's great for those days when your hair is just not going anywhere and it's not styling or anything. And you can just throw it up in this. And it's kind of the way that she wore it in the video. She kind of swept all her hair up and then she went outside and she had the scarf and stuff. So um, that's kind of what I was going for. It's a very relaxed kind of, um, very relaxed kind of do. And I tend to do this a lot just to throw my hair back because it kind of gets in my way sometimes. Um, so if you have any more questions about any of the products I use in this, the list of everything's going to be in the box below, um, but you can ask me anything anyway. Um, you can ask me here, you can ask me in Forum Spring, or you can ask me on Facebook. Um, all the links of those things are going to be in the box below. So I really hope you enjoy this. Check out the song because I absolutely love it. I'm just It's just going over and over in my head all day long. So I had to do a video about it. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm Shady Katie. Thanks for watching.